Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to change a code on Partition 2 on a Vista 20P system. So first thing here, I have my 6160. It's best if you're using an alphanumeric keypad. And I have my Vista panel. Now for those of you who don't know what a partition is, a partition is basically a uh, set of zones assigned to a specific area in the business location or your home. So for instance, if I have a house and I have an office and I want to protect all sensitive documents that are in my office, or if I just want to keep that office protected separately, I can actually arm the office, all the zones associated with the office that are would be my partition too, and have the rest of my zones, the rest of my house would be disarmed, would be normal. Um, as partition one, right? So I can have everything in my office, partition two, and my home as partition one. So that's a little example of what partition is. Uh, so today, one thing you also wanna do is make sure it's easier if you have a keypad for each partition. So if you're gonna have a partition two, it'd be better to have a keypad in that area and then wherever, you know, you have partition one keypad in that area. The reason for that is because if not, then you have to use one keypad and switch to different partitions constantly. I'm gonna show you guys that actually today because I'm only working with one keypad, right? So as you see here, I actually have my keypad to display the partition that we're in. Right now we're in partition one and it's in a ready to arm mode. So the easiest way to change your user code in partition two <coughs> is by just adding, or if you know the, the user number, you can actually do that through the user code change, which I'm gonna show you guys here. So just so you know, user two on a Vista panel or on any Honeywell system really is always going to be the master code. The master code can arm and disarm any partitions. It can be used to change and delete any user codes available. User number three is partition one master. So it can only arm and disarm partition one and it can only add and edit partition one user codes starting at user 33 that is partition two so the easiest way to add or delete or remove any codes from partition two is to deal with any user users that are 33 and up right so here it's actually 33 to 49 yeah so here i have my 6160 my default master code is one two three four because my panel is defaulted so I'm gonna go ahead and add a partition two code. I'm gonna actually do the partition to master. So user 33. So I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna type in my master, one, two, three, four. And then to change the code, it's the eight, right? That's how you guys, it's an easy way to remember the number eight sets code at the bottom. You then need to enter in the user number, which is gonna be 33. And then the new code, I'm gonna enter in four, three, two, one. Yeah, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, eight, 33, four, three, two, one. It gives me a thing for confirmation. So I've now added four, three, two, one as my partition to master. So if you guys will see here, I'm gonna try using four, three, two, one to arm partition one and nothing should happen. So I'm gonna go four, three, two, one away nothing right but if i use my master code one two three four away it starts arming i'm gonna disarm it one two three four off yeah so that means my master code worked my master code worked on partition one but my code that i just entered four three two one did not work on partition one because it's user 33 which that is partition two so to switch to partition two, remember this is why I told you it's better to have two keypads so you can actually keep one assigned to partition two and one. If not, you gotta switch the way I'm about to do. So to switch to a partition, you need to enter in the master code, star is the go-to command, and then the partition number. So I'm, I would do one, two, three, four, star two. One, two, three, four, star two. You'll see, gives me a ding. And then it also says partition two now at the top. Now, if I'm gonna use my four, three, two, one and arm it away, it should work now. Four, three, two, one, and then away. And it arms it away. 
This is only arming partition two. I can enter it in again. Four, three, two, one, off. And it disarms partition two is back into ready to arm. So good thing about having two keypads is you can leave that keypad in your partition two and it will not change from partition two unless you do the go to command and switch it back to partition one. Yeah, again, watch, you'll see, I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, star one. It dings for confirmation and then it puts me back into partition one. Yeah, so just a quick thing to remember, again, partition two are users 33 to 49. Yeah, so if you simply need to change, add, delete anything in partition two, as far as user codes go, you wanna use those user numbers, 33 through 49. And then obviously for partition one, you have the code starting at user three all the way to 32, yeah? So again, that's how you do partition and user codes. If you guys have any questions, you can email us at support at alarmgear.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you hit the like button underneath, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and enable notifications. That way, whenever we upload new content, you guys do get notified. I'm George. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.